There's a lot of videos out there on YouTube that can really help you understand the most effective ways to time travel in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Those videos are talking about each individual topic per video though, so it's a little hard to keep up. Like for example, time travel to kick out villagers, but oops, forgot to tell you that your turnips are all spoiled now. In this video, I'm putting all of the pieces of the puzzle together and showing you the best way to time travel in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hey guys, it's Phil. Learn more about Animal Crossing and be a better player. Do that by subscribing now, turning on the notification bell, and hitting that like button. You see, I've taken all of the information from all of the biggest data miners in the Animal Crossing community and gathered all the data from many different Reddit posts, Discord servers, and combined all of the pros and the cons and any extra information that I could get my hands on, and I've put it all in this video for you. If you're interested in seeing the source of where all this information is coming from, then I'll put the links down in the description. Ultimately though, the main driving purpose behind this video was because I was trying to kick out one of my most hated villagers. I tried ignoring them, hitting them with nets, sending them trash, pushing them around, you name it, I tried it. But I started realizing that when I would time travel, my villagers started to get these little thought bubbles showing up over their heads. So I'd run over to them to see what was going on, and if it wasn't a present of some sort, it was them wanting to actually move out. So I thought if I could find a way to get that thought bubble moved over to other villagers, if I could find a technique to do that, that would be awesome. And I actually did. But I didn't realize at the time all of the negative consequences that I would encounter as I started to time travel more and more. Okay, so what is time travel exactly? Well, time travel in simple terms is you adjusting your Nintendo Switch console day and time to influence your experience inside of the game. So what's the best way to time travel? Well, let me just answer that question right out of the gate. The best way to time travel in Animal Crossing New Horizons is to understand how to do it, understand how it works, and understand how to get the positive elements out of it, and then how to avoid the negative outcomes from it. But in all honesty, it's kind of like riding a bike. Once you figure out how to do it the first time, you can do it over and over, and everything's good to go. Just don't wreck. Okay, so for any beginners, very quickly, Here's how to time travel in Animal Crossing New Horizons. First, you're going to save and close your game, or simply have the game already closed. Go to your system settings, system, date and time. Turn off synchronized clock via internet, and then go to your date and time area and adjust the time. When you return to the game, now the new date and time will take effect. Okay, so I can't teach you algebra until you learn your ABCs. Here's some very important information that is vital in knowing before we go any further with this guide. Stick around to the end though because I've got big news for the time travel consequences. So for the most part, the game sees time traveling as the next day and will not corrupt or hurt your save game file at all. So whether you travel backwards or forwards any amount of time, the game sees this as a new day. Unless, of course, you're traveling within the same day. Time travel doesn't remove items, it doesn't remove villagers, or in-game progress. Even if you go backwards. I've had a few comments from others asking if they time traveled backwards, if they would lose villagers that had already moved in, and the answer is no. The time on your island and another person's island doesn't impact each other. You can also join someone else's island if they've time traveled and vice versa. This is actually super helpful when you're playing the stock market. I've actually got another video on that topic of how you can use time travel to make a lot of money and I'll put that link in the description. Villagers will never leave without you actually telling them that they can leave during that little move out conversation. I've got a little more information on that in the next section. Now if you time travel backwards, villagers won't advance in the move in or the move out process and as a matter of fact, there's a, there's a terrible glitch around this, so be sure to stick around for that because that's also in one of the upcoming sections. Traveling backwards doesn't allow for building construction, upgrades, moving buildings, and things of that nature to be completed. Only time traveling forward will accomplish that. Nook's Cranny will not refresh their stock unless you time travel outside of the current week, and then they'll refresh the item so you can buy more things. Visiting characters such as Celeste or Red will remain on set days of the particular week. So, if you time travel outside of the current week, it'll change. So here's a bunch of benefits or reasons as to why you should time travel. So one of the main reasons that people time travel is they'll hop one day at a time to kinda speed things up. So if they've got various island projects such as things like house upgrades, bridges, incline builds, hybrid flower growth, those are just to name a few. Some of the other reasons are to farm resources such as iron from your stones that you can get every day, 
or maybe farm DIY recipe bottles on the beach. Another really big reason to time travel is to get rid of your villagers. So there's a special technique that I've covered in this video, and I'll put a card in the top right hand corner. It'll show you exactly how to get rid of villagers using time travel. If you need help there, then don't forget to check that video out. In addition to moving the thought bubbles around, you can also use time travel to get rid of villagers with the campsite technique. In essence, you time travel six days in the future, and then one day at a time from there until you get a campsite villager. And then in return, you can kick out the villager this way. I've actually got another video on that, and it'll show you how to do everything, and I'll put a link in the description for that as well. You can make a lot of easy bells with your money trees. So since the money tree spot shows up each day, you can start your own money tree farm rather quickly. You can make a lot of easy bells by selling turnips. Lots of people will set their time settings on Sunday, buy turnips, and then travel to other players' islands to sell for a huge profit. You can make a lot of easy nook miles. So normally as you log in, you can collect additional nook miles from the resident services terminal. You know, you get your, your daily bonus and it keeps adding up uh, more and more. Well, you can continue to do this as long as you time travel in single days at a time, forward or backward. You can get a lot more DIY recipes from the beach. So the daily recipe bottle found on the beach will respawn. Um, I believe it respawns twice a day. There is a rumor that some people can get two DIY bottles every day by obtaining the first one around 6 a.m. and the second one around 6 p.m. of that same day, but from what I can tell it's a little hit or miss. What do you get? Do you get two bottles per day? Let me know in the comments below. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, one of the main reasons why people time travel is resource gathering. So your fossils and your rocks and the resources in the rocks, also furniture from shaking the trees, the money tree spot, the fruit on the trees, they'll all respawn. Shooting star nights is another big one. So shooting star dates are different for every person playing. However, once you find out what date that you're having shooting stars, then you can time travel back to that date at any time to get more star fragments. Just be sure to time travel to the following morning to collect the star fragments before traveling backwards. Otherwise, you may lose your star fragments. I mentioned this earlier in the video, but remember, once the visiting characters appear on a certain day of the week, you can time travel back and forth to those particular days to continue to interact with them. For example, if Celeste finally shows up on your island, you can time travel backwards and forwards repeatedly to continue to receive items from her. This works for Red, Gulliver, and any of the other visiting characters that come to your island. Time traveling to various seasons is very popular as well. For example, you could time travel to winter time to start collecting snowflakes for you know the various DIY recipes. Speaking of DIY recipes, you can time travel to fall or winter and you can get pine cones and Christmas ornaments from the pine trees. You can most certainly time travel to certain events but it has to be as long as Nintendo has unlocked that event in the latest update. You can also time travel to various months to get different bugs and fish. I'll give you a little tip. June and July have some amazing bugs and fish. Go check it out. And a lot of people will time travel back and forth as they find that Kix or Leaf is on their island because the villager shops will refresh. The Abel Sisters daily stock will refresh too. However, you might have to time travel outside of the current week to refresh the weekly stock for Abel Sisters. Okay, so now for the time traveling negatives or the consequences. Now, if you can combine everything that we've learned up until now with all of the consequences and things that we're about to talk about, then you'll really start to understand the best way to time travel in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Weeds and flowers naturally grow every day, but as you start to time travel, you'll notice that your island will start to collect weeds and flowers just about everywhere. It's not really a big deal, uh, but you will have to clean things up later. And if you're concerned about having a five-star island, then you will want to keep that cleaned up because it does have a negative impact on your island star rating. So one of the only bugs that you can't catch is one of the only bugs that you can actually kill. As you start to time travel more and more and you start to hop around 30 days or so, you'll start to get cockroaches in your house. But don't worry, they're super easy to kill, you just have to step on them. You'll probably have one in each room, so you'll just go through your house, step on them, and then you'll do a little fancy dance. The villagers may ask where you've been lately, but they won't leave your island as you time travel. In some cases, there were reports of people time traveling and losing villagers, but that's a really rare and it's actually a glitch. The game is designed to move villagers out only if you agree to let them leave. Now if you have an open house plot and time travel even a single day forward, the game's gonna automatically fill that open house plot with a random villager. So don't have any friends come over and water any flowers if you're planning on time traveling backwards. When you time travel backwards, 
you do lose any watered effect on your flowers. However, you could move forward in time and it'd be okay. Now here's a super negative consequence of time traveling. If you have a villager that is in the process of moving in or out, then be sure not to time travel backwards at all. And be sure to only time travel one day forward at a time until that villager has completed the entire move-in process. Otherwise, there is a current glitch to where the current villager will be stuck with the previous villager's house exterior. And the only way to get rid of this glitch is to move the villager out and back in again. But unless you have an amiibo card, you can imagine how difficult that would be. Your turnips are absolutely going to spoil if you time travel backwards, but you can time travel forward. You can actually set your time to Sunday, buy turnips, and then travel to another person's island where it's Monday on their island. I've actually got another video that shows you everything you need to know about that process, and I'll put a link down in the, in the description of this video. Take a look at the video in the bottom left hand corner if you want to learn more about time travel and turnips, or the video in the top right hand corner if you want to learn how to kick out your villagers with time travel, or maybe the playlist down in the bottom right hand corner that shows you everything you need to know about villagers. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe.